Hello, my name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SolidWorks professional with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows how to create freeform shapes in SolidWorks using the drag sketch option available in boundary and loft features. The drag sketch option has four requirements. All sketch geometry must be contained in a single 3D sketch. Only underdefined entities can be dragged. The feature must be immediately after the 3D sketch in the design tree. And the drag sketch option is only available when editing the feature, not during initial creation. This simple example will loft a 3D sketch consisting of three circles on parallel sketch planes. Since all the sketch geometry is contained in a single 3D sketch, I must employ the Selection Manager to designate the profiles for my loft. Now that I've created it, I can edit the loft and click the Drag Sketch button. I can now move the profiles around with respect to their remaining degrees of freedom. I'll show a second example using a boundary surface. Sometimes people request more control than the freeform feature allows, including a way to affect the edges of the freeformed face. The drag sketch option can be employed to assert such control. The 3D sketch for this example consists of eight splines with four control points each. To create the boundary surface, I again use the selection manager to designate profiles for direction 1 and direction 2. I can now edit the feature and using drag sketch manipulate the spline handles including those defining the edges of the surface. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.